Hello all, welcome to oratrainings.com. In this session, we'll discuss about creation of receivable invoice using the REST API. Okay, so first what we do is we'll try to create the invoice from the front end and then we'll discuss about the list of web services, nothing but the list of REST APIs and their functionalities available for this particular AR invoice. So let us go to the UI. To create AR invoice, we require a receivable set of privileges. So click on receivables, click on billing, and click on the task list and click on transaction. So this requires the BU details, transaction source details, as well as the payment terms and the currency details, okay? So now I'll just mention the BU and uh, most of the details will get auto-populated now in this one. And next thing is enter the customer details. I'll just select business world as my customer and then tab out, okay? So this is the header information. So pretty much simple in the header information, you just require the transaction source, transaction type, business unit, okay? And the transaction dates, currencies. And then you also require the customer information, which will have the bill to, ship to, bill to site as well as ship to site. And then coming to the line information, you just require the line description and you require a unit of measurement. I'll just say each, then the quantity and the unit price. Okay, that's it. So if at all, if you want to enter any tax classification information, you can mention that or you can simply ignore. That also will work, okay? So this is a very simple way of creating the invoice. Of course, we require the payment terms. Yeah, 30 net. You can just mention any of the payment terms. Yeah. Okay, so once the invoice got created, it will automatically generate the invoice number. So now let us go back to the information of the REST services which are available. So I'll just go to the latest documentation of the web service, which is of 21B version. So here, here if you observe the 21B version, the receivable invoice. So we have the REST APIs available for all the operation. I mean to say like REST, the REST, available REST API, it is providing all the operation like a creation, fetching, updation, as well as delete. Nothing but all CRUD operations, right? So the first thing what we try to understand is we'll try to always perform a fetch operation. Nothing but getting a data from the database. So here, let me show you some information of the REST transaction types. So here, if you observe, whenever you use any of the REST API, okay, it'll have the appropriate request types. Get is nothing but a selection in the DBMS. Nothing but like if you're trying to correlate a REST request type with the database. So whenever you perform get operation, nothing but you're fetching the data, nothing but you're performing a selection operation on the table. And when you perform any post operation, it means that you're creating a new record. You're creating a new record, nothing but insert operation in the database. And the other operation called patch, it's nothing but you're simply updating the record. And the final one, delete is nothing but delete, okay? So now what we do is we'll start with the get operation. So let us see what it requires for get operation. So now if you observe, we can get all the invoices or you can get a specific invoice. So if you just see the get all invoices, what it requires is it doesn't need to pass any transaction ID. If at all, if you want to get a specific invoice, you just need to pass the transaction ID. That's the only difference. And here, if you observe, generally it just gives the URI, okay? You always need to prefix the cloud, your, the, your SaaS URL with this particular REST API URI, okay? Now in our, in our case, what I have done, this is SaaS URL. And here, this is the information which you get from the Oracle documentation. You just need to prefix, right? So now here till this particular part, right? Till this part this is my SAS URL. And after that, I just mentioned the information of our, the URI of the rest. Okay. So now if at all, if you want, how do you get the, how do you get the transaction ID, right? So obviously you require a table details. What you can do is you can just go back to the BIP and we have a table called RA customer underscore transaction all. Let me show you that. So I'll just try to fetch all the data. RA underscore customer underscore transaction all, which will have the AR invoice details. I just mentioned created by is called Fina MPL. So click on data. Okay. If at all, is there any delay on saving it? It automatically gives, right? If at all, if you have a waiting period, let me refresh. Let me re enter the query. AR invoice application SCM. I just want to get the transaction ID. Okay. So using transaction ID, I mean, using the invoice number, we want to get the transaction ID, right? So what was our invoice number? It is double five. So nothing but our first record. So just pass the transaction ID. Okay. And now here, what we do, 
so let me mention this here okay this is the transaction id which is ending with 600 so i'll go to the postman and here it just mentioned the mention the uri okay and we require a basic authentication like uh, in the authorization mention the username password and in the body we don't need to mention anything for the get operation we are not passing any other payload the only the only thing we are passing is a parameter that is enough click on send and if you at all if you see our invoice number nothing but the transaction number it is it means that it is correct double five seven eight four is the invoice number it is printing so perfectly it is right so what we have fetched is correct one right now the next one next operation i want to discuss is a creation of the invoice see like uh, whenever you deal creation of the invoice we require some end of, like a good amount of fields right like a um, party number payment term id and you know like uh, some some other information where you may require id details right so that's the reason always create from ui get the response okay then start create then start creating creating a new record right so now in our case what i have done is like uh, in the request payload you require all these particular mandatory parameters right so like a billing date customer number payment terms ship to customer number and one important thing is never pass ship to customer name okay if at all if your ship to customer name is a duplicate it will give a different kind of error it is very difficult to find out so always pass the id id or number kind of details rather than the name details okay not every time but in this scenario i faced it that's the reason don't pass ship to customer name better always pass the ship to customer number that is enough ship to customer number is enough and ship to site is enough you don't doesn't need to pass the ship to customer name okay now so this is a header information and coming to the line information just require line quantity description uom and tax classification details as well as the tax amount details if at all if you have some more information the tax or lines to be passed you need to pass them explicitly okay but this is a very minimal set of data which you are using for the purpose of creating an invoice and one more important thing is when you create an invoice using rest api automatically the invoice will be in a complete state there is no way we can create invoice in the incomplete state there is no possibility of that now the next operation what we want to do we require post operation isn't it we require a post operation what i'll do is i'll just right click here i'll click on duplicate yep so i'll and here the operation type i'll just change it to post okay and what is the other thing in the authorization mention the username password it is already copied and in the body paste the payload and any other thing it doesn't need to pass any of these things like this because how do we get the information right so always go to the documentation and just see what what is the uri of it only difference is it doesn't need to pass any id here right till receivable invoices it is exactly the same as your get your particular get request okay now what is our type what is a request type post followed by uri and we have mentioned the authorization and we have mentioned the body also then click on send if at all if you get a 200 response with the payload it means 201 response and with the response information it means that this invoice got created successfully and you can also observe the transaction number here somewhere okay double five seven eight five is a transaction number now what you can do you can try to find out this information from the ui also okay i'll just pass transaction number here okay we're able to see the invoice and also see that status right so do we have status here yeah complete is yes okay by default it creates the invoice the complete status okay now let us see the two other two other operations so what we have is patch and delete okay let me try with the delete and tell you what is the reason why delete doesn't work and then we'll discuss a patch okay so make a note of the transaction id okay now this is my transaction id and for the delete also it is just simple the same ur is similar to get only thing is the operation is di different so copy the request copy the uri and now you can open any tab or you can try to use existing one i'll just use existing one replace here mention the operation as delete and also body there is not body you can pass customer transaction id and authorization mention the username password and click send and see what is the issue it tells you it says that you cannot delete a completed transaction so the functionality here is you can delete only the state the transaction which are is in the incomplete state but now i want to delete this transaction what i can do is i can perform a patch operation on this one to change the status from in status from complete to incomplete okay so in the patch operation also the, re the request url is same only thing is the operation is patch so select patch and now you just remove this one mention the url which we got it and just simply pass invoice status as incomplete and click on send 
okay and authorization is also now the status should be incomplete okay now we can try to refresh here or let me reload if it works double five seven eight five eight can you see now the status was earlier it was yes now it became no now it is incomplete okay now it is incomplete isn't it now the next operation which we want to discuss is the deletion right now deletion will work automatically because now the status is from complete it went to incomplete now what we do we'll go to the delete operation so click on delete operation pass the trans i mean pass the uri okay and there is nothing to pass in the body or you can pass the customer transaction id okay now let's see here click on send and can you see in the deletion it does not give you a response but if at all if the status is 204 no content it means that it got deleted successfully it means that it got deleted successfully but how do i know whether it is got deleted successfully like there are many ways you can validate where you can perform a get operation now let us say we try to perform the same get operation right so what was the transaction id we passed this one right so in the get operation i'll try to this one fetch the operation and you should not get any data right simple it says 404 not found it means that the invoice is no more no longer available other ways also you can do it you can just click on this one you will not see that record isn't it that's it okay what was the invoice number this was the invoice number right double five seven eight five it is not available that's it okay so we have discussed about how do we create a new record how do we update it how do we delete it as well as how do we fetch it okay so not all the web services will have these all set of operations but for the ar invoice oracle provided all these set of operations okay so yep happy learning thank you